because of this interview. Malti Bhojwani, beautiful life coach here with me. Her book is out in stores, Don't Think of a Blue Ball. You've actually done a journal on gratitude before this book happened. Talk about that. Talk about the importance of gratitude, of being thankful for what we have in our lives. I started practicing gratitude in my own life consciously about five or six years ago. So I started to write in a journal every night before I went to bed. And uh, two years ago, Om Books, my publishers, they released a journal for me. It's called TAG, T-A-G, mm -hmm. Thankfulness, Appreciation, Gratitude. Wow. Yeah. So especially now with social media, when you go and tag someone, you like something, you comment or you share, you're showing appreciation, you're showing that I like this. Mm -hmm. And liking something is being grateful for it. I believe that until you're not willing to accept things the way they are and you don't actually look for the beauty in what is and you're not grateful so say your finances you're not grateful for the money you already have you're not grateful for the body you already have you're not grateful for the relationships you already have you can't attract more you have to be grateful you have to be willing to accept today and and truly truly be grateful and thankful because mm -hmm. we are so much more better off than so many others there's also something that I have a problem with which is forgiveness forgiving people for the wrong that they have committed uh, to you I have a good story here. I don't know if we have time for it. But basically, the, the story is in the book and it basically outlines how we as human beings always choose the best option available to us at that time. So if we're given three choices, we choose the one that preserves us because a basic human need is self-preservation. Human life, you, mm. you want to look after yourself. So if you can believe that every single human being, even though you think that they did something deliberately to hurt you, they actually made the choice that was right for them mm -hmm. and you did the same, then you can forgive because you know that nothing, it couldn't have been different. The person had to do what they did. Even people who do things out of pure malice? <laughs> yeah, well, okay. <laughs> with that, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I really don't know where to go with that except that if you don't forgive, mm -hmm. then you end up uh, holding yourself back and then you deprive yourself of loving, of being, of giving, of tolerating, of opening yourself up to new relationships and people. Mm -hmm. And you end up holding on so much to that, that one bad thing that happened and that you cannot forgive you can't let go it, you know it's, it's just like you know you're holding on to too much and you can't accept the good that's coming your way do you have a, an email ID or a website where people can get in touch with you yes I use Twitter a lot and Facebook a lot mm -hmm. so it's multi Bojwani on both and uh, the website is multi mm -hmm. uh, well it's all multi Bojwani it's M-A-L-T-I-B-H-O-J-W-A-N-I -I. last yes. leg of conversation uh, with this beautiful lady life coach multi Bojwani up ahead on 94.3 Radio 1 <laughs>